Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I will walk you through a complete React JS roadmap that you need to know if you are planning to learn React in 2021. Or if you have already started, I will still recommend you to watch the video so that you can track your progress. So without any further delay, smash the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss the videos like this one. And let's get started. So I assume that you have already watched my video on web development roadmap 2021 as I have covered everything in that video that will be a prerequisite to start your react learning journey. If not, just click on the card above and jump to it directly. All right. So react a very popular framework and have a high demand in the industry. So where do we start? Let's begin with the first section that is fundamentals of react. In this section, we will understand basics of React and explore the React offerings. Now let's see what we should learn as React fundamentals. So we start with a very basic how to create the React app and understand the project structure React offers. We can play around with the code and run the app on development environment with just few commands. Once you have the app, next thing is to understand the core concept of React that is components. So React is all about reusable code called components. An application can be made up of multiple components. So in React, we can create a function component and a class component. Inside the component, you will see that we always return some HTML like code and that is called JSX, which is a syntax extension to JavaScript for using HTML in JavaScript files. Next, you will come across a very useful concept of props and it's short for properties and used to provide inputs to your components, which helps to make your components reusable. One important thing to note about props is that they are read only and a component cannot modify its props. Other useful concept is the state that manages the data for a component. And when the state changes, the component gets re-rendered and you see the updated UI. Once you have a good command over state, next thing is to understand how the components get re-render and hook into those methods. So you will learn about basic hooks like use state and use effect for functional components. And for class components, we use set state and you need to learn its lifecycle methods. Next thing you will do is the conditional rendering of your UI. As we know how to change the values within the components with state, we can do conditional rendering of our JSX. You can leverage the understanding of conditional rendering to learn how to render the list in React. And it is very useful. A lot of time you will receive data in the form of arrays and you have to render that data in the list. So when you use list on React, you need to add a unique key prop to each item in the list. And the last thing in the fundamental section is to how to handle the basic forms like login, registration, and understand the control components in React. All right, so we have understood about the React fundamentals. What is next then? Next, you will build projects like contact management app, to-do list, Twitter feed, and counters. And for these projects, you can make use of local storage to persist your data. Once you have built a solid foundation, you can level up to React.js advanced topics like hooks, API calls, and understand how to use them in projects. Let's begin with the second section that is React.js advanced topics. So you will first learn about the high order components and render props pattern, which helps you to share your logic across components. Then you will learn about the error boundaries that will let you to catch errors in your app and allows you to have a graceful fallback in case of any errors. Next, you will learn about the React portals, which let you to render UI elements outside your root element. A common use case of a React portal is the pop-up models. Next, you will learn about the concept of context that will solve the problem of passing props in multi-level nested components or props drilling. So now it's time about to learn how to make HTTP request in React. So you can use JavaScript native fetch API 
or you can use Axios package to make API calls. Next, you will learn about the refs, which will help you to access DOM for manipulation. The last topic in this section is the hooks, which are very important if you are working on React projects. You will explore some more hooks like use context, use reducer, use ref, use memo, use callback, and last, custom hooks. You can use hooks to share logic across components. All right, so we have understood about the React advanced topics. What is next then? Next, you will again build some more projects like Pokemon app, movies app, e-commerce shop, and GitHub jobs. You can easily get the APIs for building these projects. Next, you will explore the ecosystem that supports React library. So let's begin the last section that is React ecosystem. In this section, first you will come across the routing in React. So for using routing in application, you will use popular package that is React router. Next is if you are working on an application that has some complex forms, then you can make use of Formic and it's really good. And if you want to use forms with Redux state, then you can explore Redux forms. Next, you will learn about the state management in React. For that, we saw earlier in the fundamentals about the component state. But for the better management of the application state, you can use Redux or MobX. And if you want to use GraphQL, then you can use the Apollo client. Next, it is very important nowadays to test your application code. For that, you can use Zest and React testing library for writing unit tests. This is the area I am still learning myself. So hope in future I can make some content on this topic. Next, you will learn about the styling your JSX inside the components. For that, you can either use the component style or if you want to quick up and running, you can use Material UI or Chakra UI. You can make use of CSS frameworks like Tailwind CSS Bootstrap. So you have completed your React learning journey but there are few brownie points which are good to know if you are going for some interviews that is TypeScript. Many companies uses TypeScript with React. Other topic is the storybook. It helps you to document your components and it is quite popular in big companies. If your project needs internationalization capability, then you can learn about the React I-18 Next package. Next, if you want to broaden your React skills, then there are few topics you can look for as a next step. If you want a static site generation, then you can use Gatsby. If you want server side rendered apps, then you can learn Next.js. And if you want to work with mobile apps, then there is React Native. So that's all I have in this video. Again, this is my learning path. It can differ from you. But this video is going to give you a holistic idea about React learning. So if you like this video, a thumbs up is appreciated. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. I will add the links in the description below. And thank you. Thanks for watching.